I'm still worried about voter intimidation by the scary new Black Panther Party. You promised to help me work out a plan to protect voters at the polls. Okay, okay. Let's see what Fox News has you all scared about now. Uh, the Bush Justice Department investigated whether those two intimidated voters that day and found that they didn't. Uh, so for normal news outlets, this understandably wasn't a story. On Fox, it's reason to play footage over and over and over and over again of a random wingnut black guy being very threatening, being very threatening to white people. When you run something like four dozen stories on just one of your Fox News shows, as they did, uh, just on this story, four dozen times covering it, each time showing the exact same footage of the exact same threatening random black guy, it's a pretty effective way of getting the message across that random black guys are really threatening. They're coming for you, white people. They're coming for you. Black people are coming for you to take what's yours. Look, there's a white person and he doesn't look scared. And those two guys look like they are mostly interested in being filmed for the news. Man up, bull. He looks scared to me. Yeah, he could be scared stiff. Maybe he can't move. He is moving. Okay, here's what you do. First off, just ignore them like everybody else, except for the camera crew, that is. They really don't look that intimidating. I'm still worried. It looks pretty scary when Fox plays it over and over and over. And if you turn down the lights, well then just pull out your cell phone like that lady and pretend to make a phone call. They obviously don't care about anything but the camera. Look at her. She's not the least bit scared or intimidated. How can a big old elephant like you be scared of a couple of guys posing for the camera? Yeah, pretend to use your cell phone like that lady. They would never bother you if you were on the phone. You could be talking to someone important. Oh, that's a good one. What else? What else? If you really feel threatened, then just go get the poll judge or... Use your cell phone to make a real call and call the police. Ooh, call Fox News first. Hmm, I'm guessing Fox will already be there. 